A very simple question is, when does 1 plus 1 equal less than 2? Or another way of describing this particular demonstration is, when does 500 plus 500 equal less than 1,000? A very common activity and lesson that is done in most chemistry classes is the addition of ethanol to water to show a decrease in volume when the two liquids are mixed. What I have here are two containers, one of water and one of ethanol. The water is yellow, the ethanol is blue. I'm going to first top these off so that we can get it exactly up to 500 milliliters. This is an excellent use for some of those volumetric flasks you may have laying around your classroom that you didn't know quite what to do with. If you aren't preparing your own solutions, you probably don't need them or don't use them. This is a very good use for them. Top that off so we have exactly 500 milliliters of water. I'm going to do the same with the alcohol. Now, it's important to know that if you do this in this fashion and you use food coloring as I have here, remember that the yellow dye must go into the water because if you put it into the alcohol, what will happen is it will gel up into the bottom. It will not go into solution. So the yellow dye is water soluble, but not alcohol soluble. Now, I'm going to take a one liter volumetric flask and I'm going to very carefully pour the alcohol into the flask first, 500 milliliters exactly. This is the place where you frequently get a little bit of spillage because you're not careful in pouring. So just take your time. We now have 500 milliliters of alcohol in our flask and I am now going to add the water and of course we know what's going to happen when yellow meets blue. Art lesson here. We can see the mixing taking place readily. That's why I put the alcohol in first because the more dense water mixes more freely with the alcohol. We can see the evidence of the mixing very clearly because of the uh, waves, the Schlieren effect that occurs when the two liquids mix with each other. And 500 plus 500 is less than 1,000. We can see the 1,000 milliliter mark up here. And where did all that volume go to? Well, we all know that hydrogen bonding occurs between water and ethanol and the hydrogen bonding allows the ethanol and water molecules to fit more closely together, more compactly, taking up less space. So it's an important thing for you to uh, explain to your students so that they are able to explain why volumes do not necessarily always add up. Uh, the key factor here, of course, is the hydrogen bonding. Always a question always uh, an exam item on the AP exam. Uh, and if you're dealing with water and they ask you a question, the answer is almost always, if it doesn't work, hydrogen bonding.